We're all back now. We made a wonderful inside out roll. Unfortunately, we have to do it again now. So in order to make an inside out roll, you need to encase your mat in plastic. I just chose a large size Ziploc bag and put my Nora in there. You want to take your rice and spread it just the same you did before, as you did before, but you want to overlap it over the paper a little bit. Then you want to go and flip it upside down like that, okay? So the rice is touching the plastic. Now you want to fill it up. You want to take, I'm going to put spicy tuna roll now, so I'm going to put on the open flap, as opposed to in the middle of the rice, we're going to put that on the open flap. And we're going to add some avocado, even though most places don't put it in spicy tuna roll, but I like it. I'm going to put a little bit of my sprouts on the ends, a little bit of my gnocchi mushrooms, and once again, I'm going to hold my two index fingers and my two thumbs are holding the mat. The rest of my six fingers are pulling the roll together and holding the filling inside. I'm going to make sure we roll it all the way through. Make sure you get underneath and all rolled. Then we don't need water this time, but I want to put some wasabi now in there just to add a little extra kick in case it's not hot enough. <laughs> and now I'm going to roll it all the way through and we'll have an inside out roll. So to cut them and serve them we want to take a nice sushi plate, we want to take a little bit of ginger, pickled ginger, a little bit of wasabi which is basically a mixture of wasabi powder and water. You want to get your hands wet again so the wasabi doesn't stick to them. You want to put a little amount of wasabi. Then we're going to do a little untraditional cutting. You want a wet towel and you want to cut, I like to cut the ends off and the reason I put those tussles on the outside so I have a nice color on my plate. Aww. Then I like to, if it gets sticky, wipe your white knife again. Then I like to cut on an angle like this so I can sit and, and it's a little bit of different presentation. We're going to take our other roll and I'm going to do it just a little quicker this time. One, two, you make it look so easy now. Well, I hope so. I've done it enough times. Because <laughs> it's all about practice. And this is one beautiful sushi plate. Well, hey, I want to know how I can have a party like this at my house. Well, you and all of you could have a party like this in your house. You can email to cafemed at bak.rr.com with your party idea. The most original idea will be selected one month to shoot a party in your house. If you'd like any of this recipe, please log on to cafemedrestaurant.com other show recipes. And now let's go eat! Yeah! afternoon at Murray Family Farms with our children. We're going to go out there on a hayride and go pick some fruit we're going to use in a peach of a show this evening. Anybody ready to pick peaches? Yay! Yes! Every 10 days our varieties change. When we went in and selected the varieties that we planted here, we picked varieties that had the best flavor and then we timed them so that about every 10 or 15 days another variety is coming in. So we start in April and we'll have peaches all the way until October. We started working in farmer's markets with our cherries and we had so much fun with it that we thought, you know, why not set up a real first class fruit stand operation. And so we, my wife and I decided that we're going to set this up and, um, and dedicate it to in, improving the quality of life here in Bakersfield. Of course you have the, you have the petting zoo and the maze to interest, to interest the kids besides and they learn something. You know, most kids, most of our kids never get a chance to come to the farm and, and pick fruit and eat them off the vine. Now we're getting to the point where we're having thousands of children a year come out and visit our farm and that uh, it really is quite satisfying.
welcome to Cafe Med Diaries. This evening we have a fabulous show. I have some of my great friends here. Kevin is with me today, Terry and Greg, and we're going to have a peach of a show because it is about peaches th this evening. Summer is coming. We're going to take some great peaches we went and picked out at Mary Farms. We're going to make some pork loin with grilled peaches and onions. We're going to make some halibut. We're going to make some peach melba with special caramel peach ice cream. When you make pork, you know, seasoning is very, very important. You want to make sure that you have a coffee grinder that you carefully marked seasoning, you see, just like I did. So you make sure you don't make your coffee in it in the morning and have a surprise when you try to drink it. So our seasoning mix today is some juniper berries, some clove, and I'm going to start with some bay leaves. And since those are really tough to grind, I'm going to grind them first before I add the rest of my seasoning. Once I got them grounded, you don't want to lift it up before they stop spinning. I'm going to add some paprika, a little bit of cayenne. That's when you want to be a little careful. A little cayenne, a little chili powder, a little pepper, and a little salt. And we're going to grind that one more time. And we're going to tra transfer that to our bowl here. You always want to taste your seasoning mix before you use it to make sure you want to wet your finger so it sticks to it. And we're going to go ahead and take this beautiful loin of pork. This is half a loin. The whole thing is twice as long. It makes it easier when you cut it in half if you don't have as many guests. And even if you have enough guests to use the whole thing, it's also easier to, help to handle it on the grill if you do cut it in half first. And after you season it really well, it's best to do this maybe even the day before, a couple of hours ahead of time is fine too. And then you want to do it right into your grill, okay? I like to put it in an angle like this, so after it grilled a little bit, I can turn it half, quarter turn the other way and get those nice grill marks on the pork. Now once we get our heads dried up here, we're going to go on and have our onions grilled and our peaches grilled. And you want to take a little bit of olive oil and brush it on your red onions. And right on the grill it goes. And the same thing we're going to do with the peach. And while we're grilling all that, you see the peaches, we have some Arctic snow peaches. They're beautiful white peaches. They're in season right now. We're going to put them on the grill as well. And while I finish putting all this on the grill, we're going to take a short break while everything is grilling. Stay with us.